Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nessa Pooh, Queen of Cups Tarot. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so now. I hope everything resonates. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for May 1st through the 15th. So let's jump on in you guys reading because I know that's why you're here. Universal Universe and guys, what messages do you have for Pisces, Summer Rising, and Venus for May 1st through the 15th? Okay. Cards ain't acting right, y'all. Like spirit. Material um, harvest. Let's get two more cards. So y'all could be, y'all could have um, things that have came you guys way as far as material wise. And it is making you very, very happy. Or you guys are trying to um, manifest um, material happy, uh, happiness coming your way. Or something material wise to come your way. Solar plexus chakra. Yeah, you guys want <laughs> you guys want to manifest um, something material wise that is going to make you happy. To me. And crown chakra. You got positive movement forward at the bottom of the deck, which is a great, wonderful, wonderful thing. Some of you guys might need to open up um, two of your chakras, your um, solar plexus chakra and your crown chakra. So you can get the inner knowingness or, or uh, have the ability to listen to your intuition to bring in things that you do want and able to manifest. But let's um, clarify. Universe spirits and guys, why is material harvest here? Mm. Some of you guys could have lost something material wise. Or lost, um, took a loss. Take it how it resonates. Could have been money, could have been business, could have been someone. But I think you guys are dwelling on it too much. Because um, you have more options. Right in front of you, but you guys are so busy um, looking at the negative part of this. That you guys don't see that you have more options. I should have put my phone on. Do not disturb. I'm sorry, guys. Two more cards, please. Two more cards, please. Thank you. So we have the tower and um, the king of swords. Yeah, you guys took a loss, but you guys also is handling handling it like a champ. You guys aren't really um. What could have shook you up a, a little bit from what you lost? And you guys are all about business now. Maybe you guys are trying to um manifest it back or manifest more. Universe spirits and guys, why is solar plexus? Chakra here. Some of you guys can be dealing with Scorpio too. 
Thank you. Okay, so if you guys, or you could be dealing with an air sign, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. If you guys are dealing with, if you guys are involved with someone, honey, we got the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Either you are cutting somebody off or this is a divine match because we got the Ten of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords. And on top of it, the King of Swords. So, yeah, or you guys could want this divine match with someone. Take it how it resonates. You guys could already be in a divine match and in a very stable con uh, connection. One more card, please. So we have the Empress. So, yeah, you guys could really be the Queen Bee. <laughs> in your um in your world, baby. Because with the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Empress, with the King of Swords over here, yeah, y'all feeling y'all self. <laughs> Universe Spirits and guys, why is Crown Shop right here? Thank you. That was quick. With the Queen of Pentacles. So y'all could be um focused on y'all coins right now. Very stable. Yeah, very very stable energy. Very stable energy. So this what you were sad about could be a a huge major shift. A huge major shift of y'all finna sit up here getting y'all bag and y'all having more stability with a connection with finances or y'all could have it all together um in your relationship on top of y'all both you and your partner getting y'all bag y'all in y'all bag y'all can y'all got y'all coins together y'all got that money Take it how it resonates. If that is the case. Ooh, child. I would love it. I am here for it. Okay. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, you trying to manifest this, though. So. Be careful of any uh, trickery. Even though you're trying to manifest it. Or you're trying to manifest being more stable or getting in your bag. You're conflicted about it with the five of wands and the magician. You're conflicted about it, but oh, trust me, you don't have to be conflicted at all. Because with the positive moving forward card here, you got something coming your way. Your, your wishes is coming true. It's all coming true. But be very, very careful of any trickery. You guys could be manifest. Y'all could be so conflicted that you could be manifesting um, trickery to yourself and end up losing that stability or losing that um, the the stability in your um, connection with someone. Universe, spirits, and guys, what do you have for my Pisces? Summer rising in Venus for May 1st through the 15th. Did that just flip over? I don't know. That one did. <laughs> okay.
So we got new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So this could be, y'all could be conflicted about somebody new, but this could be the person that you're supposed to be with. And y'all could have a more stable relationship. This person could have children. This could be the, uh, y'all could be renewing a connection with somebody. This could be the father of your children, the father, I mean, the mother of your children. If we got children, your love life is being affected by children. And we have, pay attention to the red flag. The, the signs are cautioning you. Intuitively, I don't feel like um, your person has red flags. I think that it's you guys who's conflicted on um, the direction to go with your connection with the person that you with. So I think y'all need to really like um pay attention to your own red flags because you might end up manifesting um trouble in the connection with someone universe spirits and guys what message do you have pisces someone last me for this so we have bad health and pathway some of you guys need to pay attention um to your health some of you guys need to pay attention to your health or pay attention to someone health around you but you see how those uh, butterflies i don't know if you guys can see it you see how them butterflies going towards that white light right there in the middle yeah y'all going on a whole nother journey a whole nother um, y'all got a, a whole nother destination going, <laughs> y'all going towards. So be mindful of the things that you are thinking about. Don't have, um, no negative mindset and expect for something good to be coming your way because you could be manifesting something to go really, really bad. Like this tower, you could manifest the tower. So be very careful. Be mindful of that. And that's just what you have for Pisces. Summer Rising Venus. And that's just what you have for my Pisces. Summer, uh -oh. Summer Rising Venus. Be careful, y'all. So we got take action, we got success, we have get more information, we have unlikely, we got remain positive. So any confliction that you have in your mind, get it out your head, you got success coming, you just need more information. Take action to what you want. Unlikely things is going to go your way if you keep being conflicted. If you keep um, having the mindset of something bad, that's, that's what's going to come. So, remain positive. Go back to um, thinking good stuff and uh, manifesting good stuff. Uh-oh. Universe spirits and guys, what advice do you have for Pisces, Summer, Rising, and Venus for May 1st to 15th? Let's see the spirit want to tell y'all. Nothing. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all. <laughs> I told y'all I want to tell y'all something. They got some tea for y'all. They got some tea for y'all. Hold on. Y'all, all these cars be falling, y'all. They be getting on my nerves sometimes. <laughs> okay. 
so we have let yourself sparkle and shine you are guided to guided to be bold and show your inner show your bigger than life side to the world um make time for self-care taking care of yourself is essential right now and we have prosperity there's a positive shift in your flow of divine support did i not tell you guys that you got something good coming your way you just have to pay attention to not um thinking negative you gotta think positive remain positive take action to go towards whatever it is that you want to go towards or if you're sad about losing something it's going to come back but don't think negatively about it so that is all the messages that I do have for my Pisces. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If this resonated, please um, don't be afraid to drop any comments down in the, uh, in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for coming to my channel. Um, also, if you guys want to book a personal reading with me, everything will be in the description box below. Um, thank you so much, and this is all I have for you guys. Bye, poo-poos.